Hello everyone. Aima A70 was officially launched last month. This product has sparked widespread discussion and anticipation in the market. During the design and production process, to further enhance the performance of the A70, we added XLR. We have also introduced a 48V5A-10A gallium nitride power supply for the first time, significantly enhancing power output stability and efficiency. Today, let's delve into the A70 together and explore its intricate six-layer PCB design and innovative craftsmanship. Here is the tool we need. The following layer is a PFFB circuit design for a six-layer board, primarily optimizing the circuit's functionality. The top layer is the front end, and the bottom layer is the back end. For audio enthusiasts and professionals, XLR inputs allow the amplifier to connect to various input devices, including preamps, DACs, or other high-end audio devices, thus better integrating and upgrading the audio system. Let's take a look at the XLR input sensitivity. XLR input sensitivity, 3.8 VRMS, 19 dB. Now, let's look at the RCA input sensitivity, 1.9 VRMS, 25 dB, slash 1.1 VRMS, 28.5 dB. Why choose XLR? XLR inputs are famous for their balance line design, which effectively reduces interference and noise thus providing clearer and more detailed audio performance. This design is particularly suitable for handling audio signals, especially in situations where high fidelity and precise reproduction of musical details are needed. Audio enthusiasts who enjoy listening to orchestral music can consider getting one. The advantages of RCA include widespread popularity and ease of connection. Because many audio devices support RCA interfaces, it is very common and convenient to use in home audio systems, consumer audio equipment, and general audio transmission scenarios. In addition, RCA connections are straightforward and require no special skills or equipment, allowing users to easily connect and use audio devices between each other. Let's take a look together. The A70 has a distortion rate of 0.0015%, showcasing its excellent quality and precision in audio performance. Signal-to-noise ratio, SNR greater than or equal to 116 dB. This high SNR ensures that the A70 effectively reduces background noise, maintaining clear, high-fidelity audio reproduction. It provides an outstanding listening experience, capturing subtle details and nuances in music without interference from unnecessary noise. Now let's move on to take a look at the second level panel. First, let's unscrew the remaining screws. and then gently separate the two panels. These two operational amplifier chips are replaceable and feature fully balanced input design. The signal first enters the operational amplifier chip for amplification processing, and then directly transfers to the power amplifier chip. This design ensures high fidelity and low noise in the signal enhancing the overall circuit performance and audio quality. The picture shows some of the replaceable chips. These two large capacitors are 63V2200 microfarads capacitors from the Japanese brand NCC, primarily used for stable power filtering and energy storage. 
These small capacitors are 35V10 microfarads professional audio capacitors from the Elna brand, used for high-frequency filtering and signal coupling to ensure purity and stability of the audio signal. This configuration not only enhances the overall performance of the circuit, but also optimizes the quality of the audio output. These are high-power single-mode phase mode inductors plus TDK architecture. This design effectively enhances the performance and stability of the amplifier system. It maintains good temperature control when handling high-power outputs, ensuring clear and stable transmission of audio signals. So now let's take a look at the backside together. This is a PFFB. PFFB has a lot of advantages, like reducing output noise, improving THD plus N performance, enhancing IMD performance, lowering output impedance, minimizing how load impedance affects frequency response, and controlling LC filter nonlinearities. This is a heatsink. A larger heatsink helps keep the product's temperature more stable during high power operation. Below it is a demo board featuring the TITPA3255 power amplifier chip. Provides output power for the operation of the A70. Thank you for watching the IEMA A70 internal structure overview video. We hope this in-depth look has provided you with a clearer understanding of our product's design and manufacturing process. If you're interested in learning more details or have any questions, please feel free to contact us anytime. We look forward to providing you with more useful information. See you next time.